So I've been using the Galaxy Z Flip 4 now for a couple of weeks, and I gotta say it's an awesome phone. It's true, not much is different from last year's Z Flip 3, but things have been improved. Also, if you've never owned one of these Samsung Flips, I'd highly recommend trying one out because they're unlike any other phone in the market. Now, I'd like to go over some of the pros and cons using this phone, starting with the pros. So first and foremost, this is absolutely one of the easiest phones to carry around when it's folded. I've actually compared this phone to a mini saltine cracker in the past because honestly, that's how small it is when it is folded. It also comes with a cover display that now allows you to access your entire phone from it, and I'm talking everything. Contacts, apps, you can now even play games on the cover screen. I mean, it's awesome. Okay, then you've got battery life, which was a big issue most had with last year's release. The good news is the phone can go a whole day now for the most part without constantly needing to be recharged. Then, of course, you've got the performance of this phone, which is lightning fast, and the camera on it is great for phone photography and recording video. Okay, now to the cons. And honestly, guys, I could only come up with one. And the one con to getting the Galaxy Z Flip 4 is that it's a very expensive phone. While it's not going to cost you as much as a Z Fold, the starting price of $1,000 is still very expensive for most. However, I got to tell you, it's definitely worth it. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is run some video and gaming so you guys could see it in action. Of course, you can check out our full detailed review on this phone as well as some of the best foldables in the market below in the description. For now, let's run it. They are heartless. Godless barbarians. of England, lands they will never defend, never love, the time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand.